Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to take our internal hard drive from our PS2 and add games to it using WinHip. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay guys, so you're going to need an official Sony network adapter with the upgraded SATA port. Uh, the GameStar one may work, but it's not very good. Uh, I don't recommend it at all. You'll need a USB as well as free McBoot memory card. If you don't already have free McBoot installed on your hard drive, the hard drive needs to be one terabyte or less to work with WinHip. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we'll go ahead and open up our WinHip folder. We'll go ahead and run it as administrator. And just say yes if you do get the window that pops up. Hit OK there. And we'll go ahead and select our drive. Mine is already formatted. It does say PS2. If yours doesn't say PS2, that is fine. Just make sure you select the correct drive. And once you do, you can go ahead and format the drive. But mine is done, so we're good to go. We'll go ahead and hit Add Image, Image Files, Add Images. And it's right here on the desktop. If you do have multiple files, you can select multiple files. That's one good thing about WinHip, but the downflaw is that it only supports one terabyte and less. So we'll go ahead and hit start. And from here you have different options. You can change the name if you want. If it is a smaller game, it may be CD if, I, if it's under 600 megabytes, but usually it's a DVD drive or DVD disc so we'll go ahead and just leave it as default and hit OK. As you can see it does go pretty quick. We're at 20% now. We'll give it a few more seconds here. There we go 70%. Ninety percent, and there we go. The game is finished. Just make sure you see finished up here. Go ahead and hit OK, and we can exit out of that and close that. Okay, so we can go ahead and download the cover art now. Let's just go ahead and right-click on our desktop. We're just going to create a folder, and we'll name it OPL. Go into our OPL folder and we'll open up OPL by running it by administrator and just say yes if you do get prompt for a window. You should get a message saying that there's no DVD art folder. That is fine. Hit OK. Uh, we can say no to this for now. We'll go to settings. We'll go to change mode, OPL folder. And we just want to confirm that our folder is correct. So we can go ahead and hit browse and we can see our OPL folder right here. We'll go ahead and select it and hit save and we'll get the same message here this time we're just going to say yes now if we go ahead and open up our OPL folder you can see that everything is here we're going to go ahead and drag over our game file go ahead and put it in DVD folder we can hit file and exit Go ahead and close that out now. We don't need it right now. Go ahead and run an OPL as administrator again. Say yes. And you can see our game does come up. Now we're going to go ahead to batch action, art download, and we'll just go ahead and hit start. Um, if you do have anything there that you want to replace, you can go ahead and select replace if it exists, but we have nothing. So we'll go ahead and hit start. Okay, operation is complete. We do have all the artwork, so we'll go ahead and close out of that. And we can close out of uh, OPL as well. Close out of that. Okay, so once you do have your USB plugged in, you can go ahead and open it up. I have it opened here. It's my drive E. We're just going to open up that OPL folder and drag over the art. And it shouldn't take too long. If you're only doing one game, it is pretty quick. But if you're doing multiple games, it can take a little bit of time. Once that is done, we can go ahead and jump over to the PS2, get our hard drive plugged in, get our USB plugged in, and we'll go from there. 
Okay, so once you do get it turned on, I do recommend coming down to OPL first, just so we can get the folder added to our drive. You may or may not already have it. If you do have the the OPL folder, you can go ahead and skip this step. But uh, for the video, we're just going to go ahead and launch OPL, and we'll just give it a few moments here just to get loaded in. Okay, and now that we're in, we're going to go into settings and we're going to come down to hard drive start mode go ahead and hit x on it we're just click it may be set to off just go ahead and set it to auto go ahead and hit ok we'll go into display settings and come down to enable cover art we'll go ahead and hit that on as well and we'll come down to ok and then we'll go ahead and go to save settings or save changes okay and we'll go ahead and you can hit circle just to see your game is there um, but we don't have the cover art, so we're going to need that. We can hit start, and then we'll go down to exit and accept. Okay, so once you do have it uh, rebooted, we'll go ahead and launch W launch. U launch works just the same. They're both uh, pretty much the same, just different versions. Okay, and we're in, so we'll go ahead and hit circle. And we're going to go down to Mass, which is our USB storage device. And we'll hit X on Start. It should put a little down arrow on Art. We'll hit Start, or sorry, R1. And we'll hit Circle on Copy. And then we'll go up to our two dots to back out. Go into Hard Drive. And you should see your OPL folder at the bottom. Go ahead and select it. And from here, we can just go ahead and paste it in. So we'll hit R1, and then Circle on Paste. And are you sure? We'll say OK. And it's only one art, so it doesn't take very long. Go ahead and back out of there. And since I am using my hard drive with the Free McBoot pre-installed on it, I'll just go into Sysconf, Free McBoot, Apps, and we'll go down to OPL, 1515. Go ahead and launch it. And there we go, so everything's loading up. Okay, so once we get loaded in, we'll go ahead and hit circle. And you can see that the art does come up, the cover as well as the background. We can go ahead and hit X to run the game. And there you go. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you did like it. Go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.